Hello, everyone. So I have a question. What does an 8,000 mile road trip, a men's prison, and a journey around Southeast Asia have in common? Okay, I heard nothing, that was close. No, each of, thank you, there we go. Each of these have been experiences in my life fueled by the power of a question. Around three years ago, I started a project called The Driven, and on that, I went on an 8,000 mile road trip. It took around seven weeks, and have since continued to interview people, now nearly 200 individuals around the world. I was fueled by the question of what are you passionate about? Something that has come up a couple times today. This led me to parades, to office space, to events, to living rooms around America. And one of them led me to an interview with a woman named Mina. When I asked her the question of what are you passionate about, she eventually shared that she had immigrated to the United States around 50 years prior. She talked about how she wasn't going to let any day hold her back. She wanted to live life with risks. She wanted to live life freely. She shared with me things that I could have never learned from my peers or from people in their 20s or young professionals. But instead, someone three or four times my age was able to open up an entire new conversation and an entire new way of thinking for me to think about. Her, along with nearly 200 under other individuals, continued to remind me that everybody has a story worth sharing. If we can put down our phones, if we can look people in the eye, and we can appreciate the story in front of us, it's pretty incredible to think about the conversations that could unfold. So I tried to think about this and carry this as a life philosophy with me as I began a new journey. Around two years ago, I found myself working in a somewhat unlikely space, a prison in Ohio around an hour north of Columbus. In this, we were supposed to come up with events centered around social justice, incarceration reform, privilege, life, and pretty much everything in between. And again, I found myself being fueled by this power of a question. What happens when you see people as human, you take away the resumes, you take away the criminal records, and you allow yourself into the conversation in front of you? It led me to having conversations with Dan about where does hatred come from, or with Wayne about what makes a life worth living regardless of circumstance or potentially being incarcerated for the rest of your life? Or with Dave about why did you do the things you do and why did you think they were right for your family? Prison taught me that everybody is human and everybody not only has a story worth sharing but deserves to be heard. Now fast forward around a week ago, I returned back from working in Asia for the last four months. Found myself in a completely new culture found myself with a lot of fellow travelers. Unfortunately, I also found myself having the same conversation over and over again. Where are you from? Where are you going? It gets pretty repetitive. And those questions become pretty similar to, hi, how are you? You become numb to it, and they seem pretty much ingenuine, to be honest. So instead, I challenged myself. What would happen if every time someone asked, where are you from, I shared a story about someone who has shaped me as a person, or an experience in my life that has made me the person I am today. And every time someone asked about somewhere where I was going, rather than answer with the, the next city or the next project I would be a part of, I actually shared a dream I had for myself or for the community around me. I found myself really quickly in conversations exponentially more valuable than anything prior. So I think, what would happen if we were more intentional with our words? If we take risk in conversation, ask questions that matter, and are vulnerable in our own responses in return. I think about that, along with everyone having a story and everyone deserving to be heard, and try and use these to fuel conversations in my life, conversations that have literally led me around the world and continue to share new parts about myself and the community I'm a part of. I look at 1,300 people in this audience. I think about what our communities might look like if we actually had meaningful dialogue and went into our next conversation really wanting to hear the story of the person in front of us. And I challenge each of you, next time you find yourself with a family member, a friend, or maybe a stranger you haven't met yet, to soak up the awkward silence and then move forward and be intentional. Look that person in the eye, appreciate their story, and share part of your own. I believe that a question holds much more power than some of us have been taught to think. 
I think that if we can use questions, they can really be the spark that ignites our community to think deeper. And when we think deeper, we work better together. And when we see that we're all con connected, it's incredible what will be the next step. The only thing I have left to ask is what question will you choose? Thank you.